Radius and ulnar shaft fractures. Treatment and indication for surgery. Forearm bone fractures is a huge topic. In my opinion, the best way to present forearm bone fractures is to stress on the important information related to these fractures. What are the important topics for the forearm bone fractures? Here is a list of topics that I believe are important when discussing radius and the ulnar shaft fractures. Treatment and indication for surgery. Open reduction internal fixation. Treatment of non-union. Mal reduction. Radial bow. Retained hardware. Complications such as heterotopic ossification and compartment syndrome. Let's start with the treatment and indication for surgery. The acceptable alignment in both bone forearm fractures is related to the age of the patient and the location of the fracture. In children younger than 9 years old, an angulation less than 15 degree and mal rotation less than 45 degree is acceptable. In general, we use number 10. If the patient is 10 years or older and the angulation is more than 10 degrees, then this is not acceptable. Surgeon may accept bayonet opposition as long as the angular and rotational deformities are within the acceptable limits. In adults, conservative treatment is applied for the ana if there is less than 50% displacement and less than 10 degree angulation because the union of that fracture is high with or without surgery. So in general, fractures of the radius and the ulna are treated surgically, except for the isolated, non-displaced fracture of the ulna, or fracture of the distal two-thirds of the ulna, such as seen in night stick fracture, especially in fractures with less than 50% displacement and less than 10 degree angulation. Let's see some examples here. A 10 years old patient with a mid shaft fracture of both forearm bones. You will do close reduction. You need to achieve acceptable parameters. So if you get 10 degree mal rotation and 10 degree of angulation and a bayonet opposition, then you will place the patient in a long arm cast and follow up in few days and check on the alignment. Isolated fracture of the ulnar shaft, 10 cm proximal to the distal radio ulnar joint with 2 mm displacement, what do you do? You will do conservative treatment, no surgery. There is no difference in the outcome between surgical and non-surgical treatment. The patient may be treated by a functional brace. Here is a case of a 12 years old patient that has fracture of the radius and the ulna. You will do close reduction for the patient and cast immobilization. What type of a cast we use? Use a long arm cast because it provides better control of the deforming forces. In a child, if the fracture is located within the distal third of the forearm, then you can use short arm cast. The cast index x-ray measurements are defined by the sagittal width divided by the coronal width of the cast and it should be less than 0.8 to ensure that gold molding of the cast occurs and the cast is firmly applied and not loose. The fracture displays 20 degree with an angulation in that 12 years old patient. What is the treatment then? Will be surgery. Either you use an iron rod or open reduction internal fixation.
In adolescence, you can use the IM flexible nail or plates. Both have the same radial bow reduction, the same rate of union, the same forearm rotation. The operation for inserting flexible nails is shorter and has less blood loss. In general, operative treatment of adolescent patient with forearm bone fractures is preferred than cast treatment. If you use conservative treatment, assessment of rotation is important by checking the position of the radial styloid and the biceps tuberosity. They are oriented 180 degrees to each other. Loss of forearm rotation is the most common complication for operatively treated forearm fractures. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.